Hello and welcome to Arcanine Rides. This week I was on Amazon and just out of curiosity, I decided to search electric scooter accessories to see what it would recommend to me. What popped up as Amazon's choice was this set of colored lights designed to be wrapped around the stem of your scooter to increase visibility at night. So on a whim and out of curiosity, I decided to buy it to see if it's any good and if it's worth its $21 price tag. I know the multicolored lights are a popular look for some higher end scooter brands, so let's see if this is a decent, cheaper alternative to style and color your electric scooter at night. Alright, so let's take a look at what we got here. I honestly have no idea what to expect here. Just open this guy up. From what I saw in the advertising, it has like a battery pack and almost looks like a set of Christmas lights. So I'm actually really curious. Okay, so that's it. Packaging, all right. Okay, let's, okay, just slides open. Has a remote for controlling the color. A strap, which I believe is for the um, battery pack to strap it on the scooter and then the lights. Okay. So yeah, I mean, it just looks like a set of Christmas lights and then pop this open here. It looks like it takes triple A's, double A's, three double A's. And I assume that that is the on button. All right. I'm interested to see how bright it is. <laughs> so let's get this on here. I will show you it during the night. We're gonna do a ride on it to see how it looks and how it feels. And I'll also do a comparison between this without the lights and this with the lights, since this does have the light up logo at night. Let me strap this on here and see how well it's gonna stay on. This is kind of the big thing I'm worried about. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is strap it on on the bottom like this with it pointing up and try wrapping it like that. So let's see how long this is actually. That's a good what, maybe 15 feet? I'm just gonna wrap this around in a circle. Sweet. All right, now the moment of truth. <laughs> Little like Christmas lights. Definitely underwhelming during the day, but we'll have to see how it looks at night. Okay, so now it's dark, and let's start by looking at the body lights that come on the Dualtron Victor so you can compare them to the Amazon lights. And now let's look at the Amazon lights by themselves. So the scooter also comes with this remote here and I'll turn the flash off in a second, but I just wanted you to see the remote and you can completely control um, like the color that you want. There's a few different patterns. So let me just click through some of them real quick and show you. Um, I can't do it from this far away. You have to be pretty close. So I'm going to walk over to the scooter. So you have the on and off here. So just click it on. And right now I just have it set to a rotating color, but you can just click a huge range of different colors. There's a lot of different tints and hues and variants of all the colors. And then you have a few, you've got this strobe option got this quick switching option, you got the slow fade, and then this is what I've been setting it to when I ride around, just the fading between all the colors option. So real quick, let's do a third person view looking at the Amazon lights by themselves, and what they look like riding in the dark, and what you might look like to other cars and other riders at night. 
So now let's actually jump on the scooter and go for a ride with the new lights. And you can see what they look like from a rider's perspective. Okay, so we're starting off with both the built-in lights and the Amazon lights on. And I'm just doing that to increase my visibility as much as possible around the main roads. But once we get back into like darker um, neighborhoods and stuff, then I will turn on just the Amazon lights so you can see uh, how much, how visible they are and if they add any light to the ride. So my first impression is obviously just the included lights and the Amazon lights uh, is enough for good visibility for other cars to see you but not quite it's not really doing anything to help with you being able to see the road better so it's quite dark for me but cars can see me which is I think uh, quite important as well the other thing is I have this, I have this camera tilted down more than I normally would. So you can see the lights and the ground in front of me a little better. I still get sketched out riding at night no matter how visible I am. But I can totally see why, if you didn't have a scooter with built-in lights, why having a string of lights like this would be great for visibility. Even if you didn't want like the super colorful uh, lights. Like if you just wanted to go for white, that seems like it would definitely be a possibility. Okay, let's, it gets, they get pretty dark back here. There's some sections that have no street lights. I'm pretty sure, oh, here we go. Let's go over here. There's a, there should be a path over here somewhere. Oh no, maybe I, maybe I don't know. Okay, here's a little path. I'm gonna turn off the Dualtron lights and show you what it's like with just these lights and no, nothing else, not even front facing lights. I still feel really visible, which is really nice. And I think that's obviously the point of it. But yeah, I'm impressed with how bright it is. I mean, it's exact, it's kind of what I would hope given its price. But yeah, as far as like, they didn't necessarily advertise them as being able to like improve you, how much you see, but I was hoping that maybe they'd be a little bit brighter and help me see the ground a little better. Which they currently don't do. Okay, now let's switch back to both these lights and the Dualtron lights. Yeah, and you can see that the Dualtron does include some low mounted forward facing lights, which is nice. But yeah, overall I'm... Let's go down here a little bit. I'm not gonna go too fast because frankly I can't see super well. And I doubt you can either. But just to give you an idea of kind of how visible you would be to other cars. And it sure seemed like from just the short ride over here that all the cars could see me just fine. So that's that's what I think this is this is good for. At the end, it's just glorified um, Christmas lights. But the pack on the bottom isn't slipping around too much, and overall the lights are quite bright and visible. So. I know this eventually ends. Yeah, it's right here. So yeah, overall, I think if you wanted to add these lights to your arsenal of forward-facing lights, plus the lights that the scooter includes, 
then I, I think it's a, it's a very reasonable option. And for 20 bucks, you know, if you like the way this looks, I, I personally am not a huge fan of any sort of colored lights. I think it looks a little obnoxious, but I think I'm in the minority on that opinion. I know a lot of people really like the, the colored light look on their scooter. So if you like that look and you like the way these lights look and your scooter doesn't have those colored lights, then I think it's a great option. I would keep an eye out for like the quality and stuff because the quality doesn't seem like jaw dropping or anything. But they stay on just fine and they probably serve you fine for, you know, at least a few months. Let me know if you enjoyed this review and I can continue to pick up Amazon electric scooter accessories to test out and make this a series. If you have a product that you'd like me to test, then go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Be sure to get subscribed to see more electric scooter content and I'll see you in the next one.